CINAHL is primarily a nursing and allied health database and it is a much stronger tool for locating qualitative research in these areas versus PubMed. Like PubMed, CINAHL has subject headings that you can use to build your search. They are called CINAHL headings. Super creative. They have a great subject heading titled Qualitative Studies. As you can see from the terms included within the heading, it covers a lot. They go into much more detail than PubMed does. Combine your term or topic with any of these subject headings and you're definitely going to find qualitative research articles. To use the subject headings in CINAHL, you go up to the top of the screen and click on CINAHL Headings. Next, you enter your search term here. Now, you don't have to know the CINAHL heading. You can just enter in the term that you do know and then CINAHL will let you know if that's correct or not. I'm just going to do heart failure. Okay, it looks like heart failure is the correct term because that's the one that comes up. If you use any of these alternate terms, it would have told you to use heart failure. It's just trying to be helpful. In order to select the subject heading, you just click in the little box right next to the term. And when you do that, it brings up a lot more information, including a lot of subheadings over here on the side. You can use subheadings to make your search more specific. This particular one has a lot. I'm not going to mess with it because I want my search to be broad. Over on the far right hand side, I can go ahead and search CINAHL, but I don't want to yet because I haven't yet added the qualitative piece. In order to get to the qualitative piece, you need to scroll down to the bottom where it says Browse Additional Terms, and then click on that. Now CINAHL has a great subject heading for qualitative. I'm just going to enter in qualitative, and it's called Qualitative Studies. This includes a lot. You can click on it to see what includes below there. So qualitative studies includes all of this other sub-studies. It's really, really specific. All right, I'm going to go ahead and select qualitative studies. And again, I'm moving from left to right. Qualitative studies actually does have some subheadings. I'm not going to pick a particular one. I'm just going to keep the ones I have. And now I'm almost ready to search CINAHL. In this tiny little text down here, it's asking me how I want to combine these two terms. I have heart failure and I have qualitative studies. I can either combine them with an OR or I can combine them with an AND. If I do OR, which is the default, it's asking CINAHL to look for any article that mentions heart failure or qualitative studies. That's going to bring up a ton of stuff and not very much of it's going to be relevant because they're not together. I want CINAHL to look for articles where heart failure and qualitative studies occur together in the same article. You're almost always going to want AND. And then search database. Okay, this lists 188 articles. And many of these look like really good qualitative studies that focus on heart failure. Another technique is to enter your search terms and then apply the clinical queries limiter. You'll find this under the advanced search section of CINAHL. The high sensitivity is the broadest search. You'll get a lot, but some of it will be irrelevant. High specificity is what it sounds like. It's specific. You won't get as much, and you may miss some articles that are relevant. The best balance is supposed to be just right. And if you're still not finding enough, you can enter the relevant keywords and combine it with your topic. This will generally bring up the most articles, though not all will be a great match. You almost have to do this with PubMed because they have such poor subject headings and their indexing is really lousy for qualitative research. But you really don't need to do this with CINAHL. You should be able to find what you need just using the subject headings and the clinical queries limiter. Okay, let's check out the clinical queries search. To get to this, you click on the advanced search within the CINAHL search right here. And then you enter your search term. I'm still searching on heart failure. So I'll put that up in the top, but now we need to scroll down until you see the clinical queries box. There's a lot of options in here. We are just looking for qualitative, and I'm going to just select best balance. And from there, you can go back up and search. Okay, 347 articles, that's a pretty good amount. Not too many, not too few, and now you can start browsing, or you can limit further if you'd like. I'm just going to browse through here. Another strategy to find more qualitative research on a topic of your interest is to find an article that really matches what you're looking for. 
In this case, I've got experiences of living with heart failure. That looks, that sounds very qualitative. If you see the word experience, it's generally qualitative. And when I get into the full record, I am looking at their subject headings. Quality of life and heart failure, psychosocial factors. The psychosocial factors is a very good one for searching on qualitative research. It's not always going to bring up just qualitative, but it's a good start. And you can actually search on it right from here. Hooray! All you need to do is click on this, and that just brings up heart failure psychosocial factors. 400, probably more than you want to go through, but it's a nice start. Finding qualitative studies can be tricky. Thankfully, CINAHL makes it pretty straightforward. But don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions.